Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy and welcome to the 30 Days API Testing Challenge and we are at day 23 and today's topic is we want to discuss about the HTTP status code and I'm going to tell you about everything about uh, API, uh, basically the HTTP status code, why we are using it and what are, what are these and I hope you are excited so let's get started. All right, guys. Right. So, uh, guys, we are on a mission to specially master the API testing, and we are at a date 23. If you haven't watched the previous tutorial, I will highly recommend you to watch it because in in this video series or in this API testing challenge, we have learned about the Postman tool, rest assured, basics of uh, API testing, how to do it, SOAP, rest, and lots of different concepts. Right. I hope uh, you will learn a lot in the previous videos, and in this video, we are going to discuss about the HTTP status code. Right. Right. So before moving me moving to the video, I just wanted to let you know that all the tasks related to 30 days API testing are here. If you want to see the thread discussion about the, you know, on the club.ministry.com, uh, you can go to here. And if you want to download everything about the 30 days API testing challenge, uh, mind maps, resources, everything, these are available here. Right. So let's come to the point where we are. So let me make them small. Right. So exactly what is the status code, right? Right. So status codes are basically issued by the servers in the response to clients request made to the server. So basically we have a client, we have a server, right? Client sends a request, right? And server basically sends the response as well as a type of a STB status code. So code basically signifies that if uh, it's a, if the seed, so basically the series here is the 100, 200, 300, 400 and 500 series. So if uh, there is a particular status code is there, means client can understand, okay, what happened to the exact, exactly to the request, right? And uh, basically client can understand this status code and these status codes are basically, uh, basically uh, everyone knows about it. Basically these are standard codes, uh, which are basically, I think it's uh, uh, certified and these are standard code basically used by everyone, right? So these are the typically you can say, the status code available, right? So we have informational codes, we have success codes, we have redirections, client server, client error, and server error, right? I I know that lots of people, lots of you people have already seen 404, which is resource node found error, right? And five 500, which is basically server error, right? So uh, 100 series, most of the time we don't use this. 200 is basically used for success message. For example, if uh, in the previous video we have uh, used the GitHub repo APIs, right? And in those API, when, whenever we create a new repo to the GitHub, it basically gives us a 201, which is created, right? If it uh, if it is giving 200, okay, it means a successful request. Uh, 300 series, most of the time, it's related to redirections. So particular URL has been redirected to other URL. So that's why they mention you, okay, 307 or 305, something like this, right? 400 series, most of the time we have is like 404, resource not bound, 42, uh, 424, which is basically related to too many requests in APIs, right? So this is uh, how it looks like. 500 series related to server errors, right? <clears throat> and most of the time, server error basically means that uh, there is a uh, server which is which is not responding or or ha or is responding with a 500 series. It means that uh, there is something wrong with the server as of now. So uh, the best resource to learn about the uh, status codes is the Wikipedia page. And they have already discussed about that. Uh, these are the, uh, as you can see, uh, status codes are basically issued by the server, uh, server in the response to client's request made. And they are basically recognized by the internet assigned number authority. So these are basically official, official STVP codes, right? If you are using different one, which means uh, developer can modify it, right? For example, for a successful call, you can send us 404. It's up to your choice if uh, it's up to your organization but typically if you want to share your those api with other developers and all they would expect these kind of response in that case right so if they are if you are sending 100 series it means informational 200 successful redirection client server and all right and the second important uh the second important resource is the rest tutorial, rest api tutorial.com it's an awesome resource and they have mentioned maximum uh uh, codes uh, already, right? I'm going to talk about which one are important. So 200 ones, so star or all the 
all the star marked are most of the time you will be seeing in means i have been into this industry for more than 8 years right and uh, most of the uh, these uh, star marked scpp codes are commonly used so 200 is whenever a post call is successful 201 whenever a new resource is created 204 is the for the successful deletion like most of the time a delete request will give you 204 basically no content but successfully deleted uh, 304 not modified basically related to most of the time re reduction 401 which is whenever your authorization fails for example if you are in the previous example whenever we are dealing with the github repo api if we don't include basic auth in that case we get 401 unauthorized 404 is again a resource not found 400 is basically a bad request whenever you send a request which is not under understandable by a server it sends it basically gives you a 400 403 is a forbidden resource if you want to access a resource but it's forbidden they will give you 404 For, uh, 403, 409 is conflict uh, again related to the client server. Clients 400, 500 is the most important one, which is basically internal server error. Something wrong with the server, they will just send you that 500 series in that case. Right? I'll recommend you to go uh, to to basically uh, uh, note it down everything about these uh, these codes because most of the time, even in the interview question, they will ask you about it. And trust me, if you don't know, if they will ask you about what is 404 and what is 424. Uh, which is basically fail dependency, and you can basically use for too many requests also, right? Yeah, to four to nine was a too many request. Sorry, guys. Uh, so if they ask you about that, uh, I'm getting a too many request in the API. So what is the status code? You need to mention that four to nine. You don't have to remember everything, but star one, you just have to know about it. Okay. And this is uh, this is the thread, I guess. No, here is the thread. Yes. Yeah. Here is the thread. Uh, link is in the description. Uh, there are like couple of more resources about it. You can read, could go through it, share it, share it here. Uh, you can share on a uh, Facebook group. I'll happy to help you in that case. I hope you are following is because trust me, guys, this uh, challenge has changed my life and it can definitely change you. Uh, change you th in 30 days, you are basically mastering an API, right? So I hope you are able to learn something new in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next day. Bye.